So for today's video, I thought I'd go through two of my theme collections. Uh, they're mostly in portfolios. The first one is Arm Wrestling with Heroes. The second is Sugar and Spike 100. And I'll explain each of those as we go forward. The first theme, the Arm Wrestling with Heroes, is, as you expect, two heroes arm wrestling. The idea came to me a number of years ago when J. Scott Campbell was due at Bedrock City for a signing, and he offered to do commissions. They were $1,500, I think, and maybe up to two characters, something along those lines. And I really didn't know his work very much because I hadn't read books that he'd done, but I knew he was really popular, and I thought, well, you know, it might be fun to get something from him, but what? And I couldn't think of anything. After the opportunity passed, I was out of town anyway, after the opportunity passed, I realized I could have had him do Caitlin Fairchild arm wrestling Supergirl, and that would have been an interesting picture in my mind. Well, I kept that idea in the back of my head until one day I ran into Aaron Lepresti talking about how he would like to have a Barry Smith uh, portfolio of Conan that I had had for many years and hadn't looked at for quite a long time. So I contacted him and I asked him if he'd like to work a trade. So we worked a deal where I sent him the portfolio and he did this for me. Uh, the Golden Age Wonder Woman in her original skirt that H.G. Uh, Peter drew for her. And then the Silver Age Supergirl. Uh, Aaron is, does beautiful women and he draws them beautifully. And this certainly does that. And I really like this commission. It turned out to be pretty good. And it inspired me to do it again and again. This one is by Nick Patera, and you've probably seen that, that picture on uh, my avatars. And this was, and when Nick did the commission for me, he did preliminaries and sent those to me too. Uh, what we have here is Nick arm wrestling Supergirl. Supergirl, of course, you know. Nick Patera, you may know from his books, Manhattan Projects, Leviathan, uh, Red Wing. Well, Nick's also an arm wrestler. So that seemed like a natural match for me. And the people behind him are all his uh, heroes. Artist heroes. So you see uh, uh, Frank Quitely up there. Adventure movie heroes. He-Man. The whole bit. And of course, Supergirl's backup team is pretty well known. Well, he did the drawing for me. In fact, he actually put this drawing on Facebook before he came to Houston for a signing. And I looked at it and I said, that's the idea that I had and I gave to Kathy. And I went up front and I said, Kathy, did you commission Nick Patera to do a, uh, a drawing of him arm wrestling Supergirl? And she gives me the evil eye and says, you know, yes, how did you know? I said, well, come look. And I so I brought her down the hall and showed her and it was there. Turned out she'd ordered it through Felix, and it was for a, a gift for me, and it was for Christmas. And Nick's somewhat slow sometimes, because he puts a lot of work into this stuff. So Felix told him it was a rush. Cool, that's good. Unfortunately, Nick and I are friends, and Nick was coming to Houston. So Nick rushed it and got it ready and had it there for the signing for me to pick up. It was really sweet of him. Um, and. Basically, I, I got it from him, I paid for it, or paid for it, and Kathy paid for it. And I had the guys at the shop hold it um, until Kathy could come pick it up and give it to me for my birthday or Christmas, whichever it was. Sometime later, I had Mike Garland, who is Nick's frequent colorist, color the piece for me. And as part of another deal, I got a friend of mine to print it for me. I think he really did a really nice job on the colors. What's next? So next we have uh, Supergirl against Molly Danger. In this case, um, I had backed the Molly Danger book by Jamal Eigel, and I had liked his work on Supergirl. So when he was taking commissions for Heroes Con a couple of years ago, it seemed like a pretty good thing to uh, get him involved and have a commission of Supergirl arm wrestling Molly Danger. Yeah, I think he did a terrific job. I got to watch him do most of it throughout the show. It was a lot of fun. 
I do wish he'd finished the second Molly Danger book, though. The first one was quite good. You should read it. So this is Supergirl against Power Boy, who's a character in the recent run of, the team of Supergirl and also Titans, I think he made appearances there. She's sort of a male equivalent of Power Girl, but not as nice. You'll notice his uh, boob window is present. He's also one of the few hairy chester chested superheroes. I forgot, there were two others, or three others. This one's by Matthew Weldon. He's an Austin artist. He's currently working on a comic called Punch. I really enjoy Before I work on one for Overground Comics called Plus Ultra. And that is myself, much younger me, and a much lighter me, arm wrestling, uh, the lead from Pulse Ultra, and she doesn't have her wig on, so she's a, kind of in a half costume, half not costume. Matthew's really good. You should go read his book. Uh, the top one is by Anthony Carpenter. It is a secret Santa, and I'm really thrilled with it. I think he did a great job capturing the real me. And the bottom one is by Dave Akins, and Dave uh, chose to do the Rankin Bass soup, uh, Santa Claus against the um, pre New Fifty Two Supergirl. From the uh, David uh, Peter David's run, really good run actually. It was a good story. Uh, so those are the last two of the arm wrestling. Take care.